Yo, what's going on, y'all? So I actually got three packages that I wasn't expecting to come so early. And I got uh, Kiati Mooney from Big Bad. I got to make sure I'm not showing my uh, address or anything. But got a clone from AliExpress here, Jesse. And then I got also have another envelope. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but we'll find out. Just starting off, going to get into this Big Bad Toys. Yo, and finally, it is so cool. After this was pipelined years ago, finally got Kiati Mundi in hand, man. How freaking awesome is that? Amazing mural art. Red Saber looks kind of sick. I actually really hate Kiati Mundi. <laughs> he was a terrible Jedi, actually, but I just enjoyed playing as him on my, my Gito, my Gito, however you say it, uh, in the old Battlefront games from 2004, 2005. But just super happy to finally have him, man. He looks great, but I'm looking forward to doing a review on him for sure. All right, so I'm pretty sure that this this little box here is from AliExpress, and I want I really want to get Waxer and Boyle, but I wanted to see how the first one turned out, so I figured I'd go with Phase Two Jesse uh, before he became an Arc Trooper. So let's see how this turned out, y'all. So I like that it came in it came like in a box, and even in the box they have it bubble wrapped. I've heard that these are very, this is on the updated uh, 3.0 uh, clone mold. And I've heard that these figures are practically a black series. You can't hardly tell the difference if you didn't, if you weren't told. So I am really looking forward to getting more of these clones, seeing how this one turns out. Oh man, dude. Wow. That's pretty badass. Comes with the DC-15 carbine and rifle. Here, let me, it comes in the plastic bag. Let me go ahead and pop it out real quick, man. This is, the paint on this is incredible. And I've actually seen, I also want to get hard case because I've heard that the paint on that is incredible. Also, as well as uh, Tup and, or, well, Tup as well, but also Waxer and Bull. They have those specific insignias on their helmets. And these, uh, these DC-15s, they look great, man. They look awesome. So not too shabby, not too shabby. And no removable helmet, but I don't care. But here is, oh no, this is, I'm sorry, this is not the 3.0. This is the older clone body. So no no O-ring shoulder pads, but it does have butterfly joints. So you can kind of see it kind of bunches up there. So, but you can mess around with that and make it work. So that does suck. I was a little bit wrong about that. I thought it was a 3.0, but, and see then the, the knee pads don't move. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But man, it there. Let me give you a close up. Look at that. That looks great, dude. He's got the Republic insignia. That looks awesome. Very nice paint on the knee pads here, even on the back. And it feels it feels like a Black Series figure, man. Like the plastic. No kind of weird smell. Sorry, you might be judging me, but I've heard people say that they have a weird smell, but mine doesn't. Mine has no real odor at all or anything, but yeah, man, this is really freaking cool. But so now I have Arc Trooper Jesse and regular Phase Two Grunt Jesse. That's pretty badass, man. Uh, so I can definitely say I'll probably be getting some more of these clones, but also looking forward to doing a review on him. So be on the lookout for that. And I forgot what this is because there's no. I don't know if it's Walmart or Amazon or. Oh, I know what it is. Here we go. Just pick this up. Power of the Force Greedo. Got him off, off Walmart for like 25 bucks. That's the lowest I've really seen him on the old Power of the Force nostalgic uh, card back. So that's pretty freaking cool. I also have the Power of the Force Han Solo and uh, Farm Boy Luke. So that's that's pretty badass, man. The card is a little bit bent, but I don't care because I'm opening him. So that's awesome. He looks great. But be on the lookout for review on all of these figures. I'm really looking forward to doing them. And uh, I just figured I'd do a little quick unboxing. Two of these weren't supposed to be here today, and they came early, so I figured I'd just jump it all like a uh, like as as a Black Series Cantina would say, fine additions. But that's uh, I'm really looking forward to getting a review on all three of these figures done. But thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Hope you're all having a good day or night whenever you're watching this. May the force be with you.